Welcome back to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Dave Carger. Since the start of 2024, every week we've been bringing you an episode of the new limited documentary series, The Power of Film, a deep dive into what makes certain popular movies endure over the years. I want to thank Doug Prey and Laura Gabbert, who directed and produced the series, for joining me to introduce each week's episode. We just showed the final installment, episode six, which focuses on love and relationships. There will be an encore presentation later tonight, but up next is an unusual love story that was discussed in tonight's episode. From Paramount Pictures in 1971, it's Harold and Maud. Bud Court stars as Harold, who's not your typical 20-year-old. He's deeply obsessed with death and dying. His wealthy mother thinks a serious romantic relationship will straighten him out, and she fixes him up with a string of eligible bachelorettes. Harold finally meets the woman of his dreams, Maud, played by Ruth Gordon, at a funeral. With six decades separating the two, an unlikely yet deep love blossoms. Harold and Maud was directed by Hal Ashby, who was part of the new wave of Hollywood filmmakers that emerged in the late 1960s and early 70s. This was only his second feature, and he would go on to make provocative and successful films throughout the decade, like Shampoo, Coming Home, and Being There. But Paramount, which was fixated on getting The Godfather into theaters, didn't know what to do with Harold and Maude, and it flopped. That might have been the end of it, but the film started popping up at revival theaters and midnight screenings. The black comedy about two oddballs in love finally found an audience in young adult moviegoers. The script was written by Colin Higgins, and the movie is filled with first-rate songs by Cat Stevens, who today performs under the name Yusuf. From 1971, here is... Harold and Maud. Harold and Maud was directed by Hal Ashby, and it's regarded by many as one of the essential films to come out of Hollywood during the 1970s, when a crop of young filmmakers were making movies that were exciting, unpredictable, and challenging to audiences. There's a flash of a moment in the film that attests to its power. It goes by so fast that if you blink, you might miss it. A single shot reveals a number tattooed on Maud's arm. It's not discussed or commented on by Harold, who clearly sees it. While the details of Maud's backstory are vague, the tattoo is a poignant clue to her past. She's a Holocaust survivor. That single shot is an act of trust by the filmmakers that demands the viewer fill in the blanks about what has made Maud the person she is, one who lives life as a free spirit. Harold and Maud is one of many movies about love and relationships that are covered in the sixth and final episode of the new limited series, The Power of Film, which we showed earlier tonight. Up next is an encore presentation of that episode, which I introduce with series producers Doug Prey and Laura Gabbard. Stay with us. Next on TCM, The Power of Film, Episode 6. Then a star is born. And later, to have and have not. Just whistle for TCM Tonight.